What's up guys, we're back. So, this is a Pinkerton avocado. And I want to show you why I think we should all try to grow one of these in our backyards. I have one. I killed it. And I put in a brand new one. And it's actually doing pretty good. I washed uh, the roots. And I know that there's a lot of controversy about washing roots. But, you know, when you get a, an avocado from a nursery, I won't say who. Begins with the letter L and a letter V, so um, they tend to put a lot of sawdust and wood products in their growing medium, which is not good. So that's why we ended up washing it. But this is uh, why I think we should be. This is an old one. Uh, as you can see, the the skin is still green when it's ripe, and for sure, it's probably overripe at this point because I've had it for a while and I completely forgot about it. So, time to cut it open and take a look. Boom. Skin is very, very thick. Well, not as thick as a, probably a Nabal or a reed, but it's definitely a lot thicker. But look at this. Really, really nice. I've already had a couple, and they were delicious. And uh, I would say that if you can see how, I mean, the seed is, the other ones that I had were more um, hourglass kind of shape, which in this section, it was actually a little bigger and the seed was smaller. This is actually a bigger seed on this particular one, um, which is interesting, but let's see, we'll cut this open and actually I'll do my peel test, right? My, my very scientific peel test. So here's that. And peels pretty nice. We take a bite. Mmm. Creamy. Absolutely delicious. This is probably one of my favorites. And I am thinking about adding a second tree now after having this fruit. It's very good. So there's a couple of varieties that I have that I've been thinking about maybe. Um, well, I may not rip it out. If the root system's strong, just uh, graft a, a different tree onto it or a different variety onto it to have a, a couple of different varieties on one tree. Um, but I would definitely say the Pinkerton is a variety that you should have in your backyard. So let me go um, show you what it looks like right now, uh, my tree, and um, see what it looked like when, I guess I can show you what it, what it used to look like before. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, today, May 1st, 2022. I guess before I go and show you my Pinkerton, and I probably need a label it anyway, so I want to show you my little label maker that I got. It's a Brother P-Touch. Simple. So let's do it. And just hit the little print button. And you can see it coming up. There you go. Simple. So I guess if you guys want one of these, it's about $55. I'll put the link down below through Amazon affiliate link, probably. So works pretty good. You can label all sorts of other stuff besides your avocados. But What's really nice about the Pinkerton also is that it doesn't oxidize that quickly. So I've had mine on a counter for a period of time and it just kind of stayed like that. And so I think making a good guacamole, you can actually have it and have it sitting out there for a while and probably be okay. And not like oxidize and turn, you know, brown. But so this is what my Pinkerton used to look like. And um, this is uh, what it looks like today. So super excited to have it. It's actually uh, kind of starting to leaf out right now. And I think the whole uh, root washing thing will kind of slow it down just a little bit while it gets reestablished. But long term, it's probably the right thing to do. So um, we'll kind of continue to monitor and see how it goes. 
but I'm actually really thinking about adding another Pinkerton now after having this fruit so good. Um, of course, I say that about a lot of different varieties, but for sure, um, this was uh, unique and different. So, hopefully, you guys are having a good weekend. Gotta stay hydrated. Make sure your avocados are hydrated, and we'll be talking later. See ya.